Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm going to share with you some items that I own that are $10 or less that I do not want to be without. And I'm also going to announce the three winners from last week's giveaway. I'm gonna go ahead and put a button when I actually start talking about what I'm gonna talk about, but wanted to talk about a few things first, so I'll put a skip ahead. Today, I got a first time I've worn pajamas that I like in, well, since like last spring, and I decided to do a video without any makeup on, with the exception of I have my clear eyebrow stuff on, I have mascara, I have a navy eyeliner on in my upper waterline, and I have on some lip gloss. And the lip, it's not really lip gloss, it's lip oil. I bought it a couple of months ago from uh, Sigma. They had a sale and I really like it, so I thought I'd share it with you. It has a big old doe foot and it feels really good and it doesn't show on your teeth. <laughs> I've had that problem recently. I wanna tell you, I did find a really good navy eyeliner drugstore and it's from Milani and it is their stay put eyeliner and i've got i got it in femme fatale and it's like a navy blue but i can put it in my upper waterline and it does not transfer and it stays all day so i'm really happy i found this i did my skincare and i was going to go ahead and just do it without the dermatology uh, spf 46 the tinted moisturizer but i want to show you i had some questions last time about how thick it is or how much coverage it is you can see that bruise I'm gonna put just a little tiny bit on there and spread it on. And it doesn't cover the bruise. It does not, it doesn't really give me any coverage, but I do like the moisture in it. For me, it's a standout product from Dermatology. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my, I don't know how many things I have here. This, I just wrote down on a list everything that I owned that was not expensive, that I would definitely repurchase. And I'm starting with the highest priced one. It, it is the Grindhouse Sharpener. And it's by Urban Decay. I've had mine for probably six years. I should have cleaned it up. It has two different sizes. What I like about it, that you can open it up, get rid of the shavings and put it down and it has never failed me. So I think these are still around $10. So that was the first thing I thought of that I didn't want to be without, and it still works. The first set of makeup spatulas I bought from, I think it was Amazon. And here's the sizes. I use these all the time. I've used this for, uh, to get the last bit out of a jar on, uh, on tubes of lipstick that I really liked or lip balm, you know, I'll go down beneath where it cuts up, you where know, you can't put, use it anymore as an applicator. This is excellent for getting into jars and cream, so I really like those. And then I found some on Ulta that I liked that are a little bit different, and I don't know if these are still, I don't know what's available except a couple of things. But this has a little tiny scoop and this is perfect for getting out lip gloss or if you use concealer or anything in a tube and this has a little a bigger scoop and, and it's just good like if you don't want to put your fingers in something it works so well just to get a little bit but i don't want to do without any of these because i really do like them i have no idea why i don't want to do without this but this type of a comb that has these four picks on the bottom i think i have to have one i I seldom, I mean, I, I don't know the last time I teased my hair, but it's what you would use if you teased your hair. But what I will use this for is like when I put my hair on top of my head and I want just a little of it to, you know, to kind of make it softer, I use this pick. Well, I could not find this brand and this is C-O-M-A-R-E. I think I used to buy the Conair. You can find these any place. I think you can. I don't ever go any place shopping, but I think you can still buy them in stores. But I looked for some from Amazon, and these were the closest I could find. They're identical, except for it has this little piece right here, but the teeth are the same, and I got two of them for less than $10. So I've got my combs that I have to have, and I this is what I carry in my purse, and I'm just think I need them. You've heard about these so many times. They're the Shiseido Facial Razors. 
The price sometimes changes, but I can always get three of these for way less than $10. I just love the shape of it, how it works. I shave my face every other uh, Sunday, and I have for years, and tried them all, and these are my favorite. And I bought this years ago, and I think you can get it free on some bottles, but they're little facial scrubbies, and I ordered mine from Sephora. They have a little uh, suction cup here, it's silicone and this is quite more nubby and this is like more fine. But I use one when I have a little area on my face that I wanna kind of work on. It may be a little dry spot. And then I also have one that I use to clean my uh, eye brushes. They work really well. I just put it in my hands like this. Someone told me that some facial cleansers have these attached to the front of them. But I, you can get two of these for less than $4 from Amazon. Okay, years and years and years ago, I don't even know where I got these. It's it, I have no idea. I've always used mesh laundry bags. And you can see how large the holes are in this. So I know it was over four years ago. I ordered a pack of, I think it was four, of laundry bags. But I want you to see how tightly woven it is. And that's important to me because bra hooks can't hook in those like they can in the one I showed you. I really liked this because it has, you can, the zipper, you can put it up here and it won't grab onto any of your clothes. I use laundry bags for so many things. I'll wash any shirt that has buttons. I have all different sizes of them. If it has buttons, if it's something that I don't want to rub against other fabrics, I keep a bag next to my dirty laundry and as I take off socks, I put them in there. I'll do the same with bras. Jim has one by his dirty laundry, and I put his socks in his, so uh, you don't ever have to match socks, but there's, I love them. And I think I paid, I know it was less than $10, and if they're still available, I'll put them down, or I'll put them in, I'll put them in my store, and then I'll link them below. I was really excited when I saw the same brand making larger size bags, and here's a great big one. And, It's huge, and it also, it's fine, it's, the mesh is very fine. You can put your zipper back in there. Since I knew it could not come apart, if it did, it came in this, it would be in this bag. I washed a pillow that came with my sofa years, I mean, it's, it's probably 10 years old, and I thought, what's the worst thing that can happen? I'll have to throw it away. It did beautifully. Put it in here and loved it. So there's this size. Just all different kinds of sizes, and again, under $10. I don't need to say that anymore because everything's under $10. I was looking for my, my seam ripper. There was a blouse, I wanted to take the seam out and do something with it. Anyway, I when I found mine, mine was just like, it was not sharp at all, and it was very, very large. So this is like a couple of months old, what I ordered. I ordered a seam ripper from Amazon. Well, it came, I put it, put half of it in this little bag and then instead the other of in here because in it I got four seam rippers, a small and a large, and thread clippers. And where these come in handy, like instead of using scissors, is if you just like want to cut a tag off and you, and it just works real well. So I put that in my old eyeglass case. And then in this one, I keep one in the living room and one in, in the bedroom, in the dressing room. It came with a pair of scissors that actually work and two more. So I got four seam rippers, a pair of scissors, and a thread cutter, and I know it was like $7 or something like that. I always keep a needle and thread, white thread, and black thread uh, right in my dressing room and right in the living room. So if the button comes loose nine times out of 10, it's either white or black. And I do have lots of other colors of thread, but that's what I usually end up using. In my vanity, I have this basket, and in my basket, I have my dental tools. You who've been with me for a long time know how much I love my dental tools. I, and I have found the use for every one of them. This one, I've used it to get cotton out of a bottle, but I absolutely love them. This one I use a lot when I wanna get a small amount of something out. It's just kind of like a bent little tiny spatula that I find all sorts of uses for them, not just in my dressing room by my vanity, but I around the house. If you're creative, you can find tons of uses for these.
Now these are hemostats. You can lock them, but usually I don't have to lock them. I use these all the time. I have a magnet on my refrigerator and I just have them hanging there anytime there is something that like even like salad dressing when it has that safety protection thing and a little tiny tab i just take that and i roll it up and i just get it off and, I, and it leaves no residue i do the same for coffee i just use them all the time i have larger ones these are just larger long ones these are larger curved ones i haven't used these very much but uh, i know that a lot of crafters use these the long nose works for if you have something like you've made a belt or you've made a pillow and you want to make those corners, bring them out and make the corners just really crisp. You can put this on the corner and bring it over and it makes a perfectly crisp corner. These really work well with turning sewing projects inside out. There's just a whole lot of uses for them and I keep these in my sewing cabinet. I've had this for years and like a lot of, a lot of this stuff, if you've been with me for a while, you've seen it but this is a battery tester. I never owned one, and now if something quits working, I will test and make sure it's a battery or if it's a problem with whatever it is I'm using. So this has really saved me from throwing away a lot of batteries, and I can use it on any battery that I own. I know like AAA, AA, A, uh, I think nine volts you can use it on, C, so anyway. This little handy thing is called a pan made. And I think it is, I don't know if you pronounce it, Rada, it's R-A-D-A. -A. I don't know how long I've had this. In fact, I had two of them and I have one in the bathroom and one in the kitchen. If you have something stuck on your floor, this little edge right here will just get it up. If you're trying to clean a skillet, I mean, this is rounded. You can get in little areas right there and clean. I don't know if they're available online, but if you know somebody that sells Rata, you might want to check, but I'll look and see if I can find them. But I, I love these. I, and like I said, I have no idea how old it is. Now this item may be a little controversial because it sells for $15 for three, but I have been told you can find them at the grocery store and they're called Scrub Mama. And here they are. I absolutely love it. I have been, I've never been one that liked a sponge next to my, you know, where, where I clean dishes, but I have made the exception. I bleach them. They are workhorses. Of course, you know, you can clean a spoon there. You can, you can hold it so easily, but this will clean like my stove. It'll do my countertops. And I'm still, I bought a big pack of them from QVC probably a couple of years ago and I still have a couple left. They're wonderful. The reason it's real hard is because it ha it's not wet. They get softer when they're wet. If you use hot water, they do one thing. If you use cold water, something else. But just one of my faves. Garlic peelers. Jim loves this. He's my gar he, he's the one that cleans the garlic. You just put a couple of cloves in here and you roll it on the countertop and all the peeling comes off and you're left with a nice clove of garlic. I gave one, I had two, got two of them, and I gave one to my sister because um, her husband likes garlic too. I love garlic, but this is a nifty little thing. And the last thing I wanna talk about is something that I've probably gotten in the last couple of months. I like to mark, well, you know I like to mark things. I like to write dates on just about everything, and especially anything I put in the freezer. I found these and they are magnets that you put on your refrigerator that slip on your pens or pencils. They stretch. Well, what I do, I just have it on my refrigerator and I can just take my Sharpie out, write on it and stick it right back. So it always is there and I have a pencil. I don't the only thing I have on my refrigerator is my hemostats, a and two of these magnets, and one has this, and one has a pencil. So those are the favorite things that I have that are $10 or less. And if you have anything that you are re really enjoy and don't want to be without that is less than $10, share it with us in the comment section. Now I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway. And the first one was for the IT Hello Light Cream Highlighter and Brush. And I purchased this 
to give away. I purchased one for myself and purchased one for a lucky winner. And the winner of that is Terry Turan. Congratulations, Terry. This was sent to me and I didn't want to try it, not because it wasn't a good product. I like to buy my own and I wasn't ready to try anything new with skincare. So the company sent me two of the Dermatology Needless Serums. So I, after I drew the first name, I did random comment picker and put the word serum, and then I hit pick, and the first name that came up was Linda Gibbs. Congratulations, Linda. So I hit the button again, and uh, the next name that came up it was Christina T. Congratulations, Christina. Make sure you all leave a comment below and I will let you know how to get in touch with me. I have a new email address that is only for winners. So after you leave a comment, I will leave a message. I'll have you send me an email and then we'll go from there. It is all good. I hope you all are doing well and I appreciate you so much. I really do. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. I don't know if you'll be able to see, I, you, you can, I've most, I've most, mm. and it has I, some of them, but like I said, I bought, so I recommend them. I mean, it, it, they, I keep one in my laundry 